There's one piece of technology that has completely changed the game for me running my virtual meetings online. Whether you're running a one hour meeting on Zoom or a three day long workshop, Stream Deck is my new best friend. So I think of this as my digital co-facilitator and I'm gonna show you how it works and how it can completely change your Zoom meetings too. So let's hop over to Zoom and you may not know this, but in Zoom, there are a ton of really useful keyboard shortcuts. The reason I never use them is because I don't need another thing to remember when I'm facilitating online. But with Stream Deck, you can program these buttons to use any keyboard shortcut that you want. So there's toggling on and off your camera, there's muting and unmuting yourself. And then there's also really useful ones like muting all the participants in a room. I've used this a number of times when I'm facilitating for large groups. When folks come back from the breakout room, sometimes it's really noisy. And with one button, I can just mute everybody in the room. There's also things like where you can open up the chat. And this was the real game changer for me. You can preload text into your stream deck so that when you press one button, it'll send that preloaded text into the chat. So that allowed me to stop copying and pasting my notes. I can have as many of those buttons of text preloaded as I want to. And that allows so much of a smoother transition anytime I want to send directions or links or information into to the chat. There's also a built-in timer function that I actually remember to use when I say, I'm going to give you five minutes for this or three minutes for that. And uh, that's just one of my favorite things on this stream deck. I also can build out different profiles according to what facilitation I'm doing. So if you have meetings where you send the same links every time or the same workshops, you know, you always want to end with the information about where you find your mailing list or where to um, fill out the feedback form. You can preload all of that and have different profiles ready to go for your different workshops. So Stream Deck is incredibly useful no matter what you're facilitating online or what platform. The ones that I just showed you were the Zoom shortcuts, but you can use it for um, you know, Microsoft Teams, for Google Meet, for Butter, for any of the many, many options for facilitating online. And I just think that's so neat. There is another video that I've got ready to go so that if you're interested in getting a Stream Deck, you can actually start building and understand how to set up all the things that I just shared with you. There's another great thing about Stream Deck, which is you don't have to shell out for this hardware until you figure out if it actually works for you, whether you like the software, you like the technology and actually use it in your virtual facilitations. This guy, version one of the Stream Deck, uh, costs about $100 now. There's a slightly better built version two that is $150, but you can get Stream Deck on your phone. So this is what I did for the first like two months. I used Stream Deck, same 15 key setup on my phone to see if I actually liked it, whether I used it in my facilitations. And the first 30 days are free, which is awesome because you don't have to spend any money to see if you actually use the technology. I found myself using it all the time, not just for my facilitations, but also for my work in general. And so that's why I bought the actual physical stream deck. The last thing that we haven't talked about just yet is how I use my stream deck to control OBS. So OBS is a software that allows me to change what people see as my virtual webcam, whether that's in Zoom or in any other platform I'm facilitating. It allows me to put slides directly into my webcam. It allows me to do really interesting looking screen shares without actually having to share my screen. And it allows me to do these split screen slides and me, uh, which I just think is so much more interesting to look at. So if you're interested in exploring what that other technology is, check out this video below.